Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to my Invitational Cup preview. Um, what this is, is basically the last chance saloon for uh, the five best coaches from Champs Ladder PC, the two best coaches from Champs Ladder PS4 and the best coach from Champs Ladder Xbox One that aren't already qualified for the World Cup. So of course, if you had to go right from the top, um, Ducky would be in there, etc, etc. But seeing as they've actually already qualified, um, the kind of the, the top performing people aren't actually in there. But the ones that are in are very, very good. Um, Bernie Buffon there is from PS4. And now he, funnily enough, he won PS4 this season, so he actually has qualified for the World Cup, so that's a bit strange, but never mind. Um, Sean 18, he got, he got there down the list despite not playing for a while. He has won Champs Ladder on PC. Uh, Pupok got in from the PC side. Inarian has won uh, Champs Ladder two or three times, so uh, he's in there. Dion Lord is in from PC. He's the top-ranked Orc player on NAF-style tournaments. Christopher, of course, has won a couple of times in for the PC people. And then uh, Arzor Win, I think, has won four times the PS4 Champs Ladder. And Rambo2369 um, is the Xbox representative and he's chosen vampires so great um, so now I shall look at all of the teams and give you the preview okay so first we have the Oberwalls which is Bernie Buffon's human team um, they're a tier 2 team and the, the, the rules are the uh, same as the World Cup for game 1 of the World Cup that, but, but they're not going to advance the teams like you do in the World Cup, so they're going to stay with these teams. So he gets five normals and a double. The double he's chosen is block on the ogre. And four of his normals have gone tackle mighty blow, thinking that everyone would go elves. And then a guard on the blitzer. And this is the, like, there's no reason to go that crazy. You could have just had three guard. Um, but you know, by trying to counter elves, it just leaves you open to things that aren't elves. And uh, three rerolls, Apo, 12 players, two catches. I mean, it's pretty much the only way you can build humans, players, rerolls, and apothe apothecary wise. But um, yeah, very questionable, shall we say, skill choices. Um, but you know, he doesn't care because he's qualified, so there you go. And he will be playing Shawnee18. Well, he's Shawnee18 on Blood Bowl, he's Shawnee on Twitch. And uh, Shawnee has taken pretty much the only dwarf build you can take, which is double blitzer, double runner, troll slayer, 12 men, apo, three rerolls. I mean, you, maybe you could go four rerolls and no apo, or you could get a fourth reroll and uh, drop a long beard and have a second troll slayer, something. But this is essentially the only, the only decision to be made. And then he's gone three guard and a mighty blow. And um, if this was the actual World Cup, I quite like that for the possibility of piling on, because um, you can stack them in the actual. In you know, you get extra skills and you can stack them. You could have just gone four guard. Um, you could have taken block on the runner. There's there's a few choices you could have made, but um, three guard and a mighty blow blitzer is absolutely fine, isn't it? So, yeah, I think I think he's got a good matchup. The fact that Bernie basically tailored against elves and then didn't get elves, I think it's a good matchup for Shawnee, but. Bernie Buffon does have three mighty blows, so if he if he gets lucky, um, he could certainly he could certainly do some damage. Uh, but twelve players in apothecary, you've got to you've got to favour the dwarves here for round one, absolutely. And Sean is a great coach. And the second game is Pupok versus Inarian. Um, Pupok's gone humans again, taking advantage of the fact that they're tier two in this format. Again, he's gone for exactly the same team: two catchers, thrower. Four blitzers, ogre, three rerolls, apo. He's gone for block on the ogre the same, three guard, an extra guard on the ogre, and a tackle blitzer. So, you know, I do actually like the mighty blow tackle. Um, I like to have one mighty blow tackle. I think starting with tackle in round one of the real World Cup and then adding mighty blow to it is, is at some stage, is, is a decent idea. And for this, look, you can't go wrong with this amount of guard. Maybe I would have even taken more guard if I was making a human team. But I think this is built very well. And I think um, this will definitely be a challenge 
in the first round for Inarians Wood Elves. And, and Pupak's a good coach. I, I believe he's won Champs Ladder before. So he, he knows what he's doing. And yes, Saviors of Athel Lauren by Orion. We allowed to score them all every time. It's the same for Inarian, always Wood Elves. Now, this is his usual starting team for Champs Ladder. Minus two rerolls. He always goes crazy and doesn't have rerolls. Um, so he's only got two rerolls. I mean, he's got two rerolls. You know, there's, there's certainly the option of having a leader thrower in this format, but he has gone forsaken that and gone with only two rerolls. But I mean, that, that this is absolutely standard. The only way to build Wood Elves really at this at this TV. You can possibly drop the tree man for an apothecary, and you can possibly give the leader leader to the thrower. But he's you know tackle strip. You've got to go tackle strip on your two dancers, and he's gone block on two catches. I'd have maybe he's gone dodge on two linemen, but uh, six and two threes. I guess block on the catches shows up your matchup against um, against dwarves a bit, and there'd be a good chance of facing those. So uh, you know Inarin's got a unique style. He, he plays incredibly aggressive on defense and offense. Um, so it's that that this is going to be a really interesting match. Uh, Inarin versus Pupa. Very interesting indeed. And the next matchup is Diomlord versus Crucifer. Crucifer, an absolute legend of Champs Ladder, of course, plays more than anyone else. Uh, Diomlord plays Orcs all the time. Uh, number one rated coach on NAF in, with Orcs. And he's gone for a, a somewhat interesting build here, actually. Not, not what I would go with with Orcs at all. Um, he is Forsaken Alignment for a Goblin. And more fan factor. And he's also Forsaken a Reroll for an Apothecary. So he's reroll light, especially with the possibility of overtime. He does have the one turn option with the troll and the goblin, which you can't argue about. Um, but you know this is the problem with with orcs; they're limited. Okay, so he hasn't really given up the reroll because he's got the leader on the thrower, but he's given up a skill on the thrower and a tackle mighty blow. I mean, the thing with the World Cup, there's going to be lots of tackle mighty blow players because it's a it's a good tool against wood elves. And all elves really and skaven and everything so there's going to be a lot of mighty blow tackle players around but you know with these four skills tackle isn't going to be used in this game and against shawnee etc so tackle is sometimes going to be a dead skill leader is basically always a dead skill because you know it's just giving you a reroll so he's actually got two skills in his players which is mighty blow and guard so very skill light he does have mighty blow on the troll and he's got some block but um I'm not sure about the build, to be honest. But you know, look, you can't argue with how good the Lord is as a coach. So, it's I mean, the, the the overall quality in this in this invitation is probably going to be higher than the average of the final eight of the actual World Cup. So, it's going to be interesting. And Crucifer has gone with the Chaos Dwarves that he always plays on ladder, twenty four seven. It seems like, <laughs> um, but they won't have Mighty Blow Core in this like they always do. And he's actually gone for something that he never takes on his Champs Ladder teams, which is a Minotaur. Uh, basically, he's hoping that it's good. Uh, hoping to get lucky with it, basically. Uh, he's only got four skills. So, got Guard on the Mino, Block on one, Bull Break Tackle on the other. That's usually how I skill my bulls, bulls up, to be fair. I take Block on the first one, and then Break Tackle on the other and stuff. But, um, in this kind of format, it means he's not getting Guard on the Blockers, isn't it? And... It's just, it's just. A, I just don't think it's the format for Chaos Dwarves. I think he might be, he might be barking up the wrong tree with a race selection. Uh, sure, hands on a hobgoblin gives him an out against Wood Elves, but again, in this in this group of eight, there's only one Wood Elf team, so I'm really not sure about Christopher's chances here. But uh, you certainly can't argue with his tenacity and his success in Champs Ladder. So he's got a shot. And now we get to the last game, which is console players versus each other. Arzawain, the most successful coach on PS4 with four four wins with four different races. He's again humans, three human teams in this. Three guard on the blitzers, tackle mighty blow, and a block ogre. So again a very a very solid build. Um yeah, you know, you can't argue with it, can you? Three guys. He's, he's got exactly the same team. Three rerolls, Apothecary, 12 guys. So they've all picked exactly the same base. They've just changed the skills around a little bit. None of them are actually exactly what I would build, but uh, maybe this is the closest. 
Uh, this this looks really nice. And his pickaxe is really nice as well. Um, so yeah, he, you know, he certainly can't argue with his credentials, winning winning so much, and he's essentially got a buy in the first round because for some reason the Xbox coach has gone with vampires. Now I may I may have to eat my words, but I just don't know why you would go as vampires. You're trying to qualify. They're not even a tier three team. They're only tier two in this rule set. You know, he's the Xbox qualifier, and what? It's terrible. And he may, he may win. It's Blood Bowl. You know, there's dice involved. He could be really good. He could be a really good coach. He could play well. Arzawain could play badly. But uh, come on, man. You're trying to qualify for the World Cup. You've got to take it more seriously than this. You can't take vampires. <laughs> you know, he's gone five re rolls with a leader, three block, and attack the mighty below. He hasn't even gone dodge on the vampires. Ah, look, maybe he'll prove me wrong, but uh, I seriously doubt it. So there you go, there's all the teams, and uh, now, now there's the draw. So my favourites, I would say Shawnee will win the first game. I, I fancy Inari to win the second, even though it's not a great matchup for Wood Elves. They're still Wood Elves. Um, I fancy Dion Lord to beat Christopher, and of course Arzawain to beat Rambo. And then uh, Arzawain versus Dion Lord, or, or Christopher really, I mean, there's chances there. I, w I wouldn't be surprised to see humans beat orcs, as, as crazy as that sounds, how like, normally it's a really bad matchup, but the fact that the humans have more guard, and they've got more speed, I, I, I fancy, I, fa I could fancy him to, to win that, to be honest. And then both, semi both of the finalists actually qualify for the World Cup, so the final doesn't really mean anything. So, yeah, my favourite there is Arza Wayne to get a ticket. And up the top there, Shawnee versus Inari or Pupok, because Pupok could easily win. Um, I'm, I'm going to back Shawnee here, no matter who it's against. I think, you know, he, he knows how to play. He's, he's, you know, he's a very good player, is Shawnee. And, uh, of course, Pupok and Inari are as well. I mean, really, you know, I know that Shawnee, Pupok, Inari and Dion Lord and Christopher are really good. Arza wins one of the PS4 four times, so he's really good. So I know that six of these eight are really good. That's probably going to be better than the actual World Cup final eight, you know, because there's just so much luck in a 64-man in a single elimination tournament. There's so much luck that it's really unlikely to be this high level in the actual World Cup, coaching-wise. But, um, yeah, I fancy Shawnee to get through there. So, yeah, Shawnee and Arzawain are, are my tips to get through. And uh, I will be covering all of the games on, my, uh, on Twitch and YouTube. So uh, check them out. And stay fantastic.